Arise, ambassadors for Christ. John 3, verses 5 through 8. Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I, Jesus, say to you, fellow believers, children of God Almighty, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, through the Holy Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God, God Almighty. That which is born of the flesh, the natural body, is flesh, the natural body. And that which is born of the Spirit, through the Holy Spirit, is spirit, the spiritual body. Do not marvel that I, Jesus, said to you, you, fellow believers, children of God Almighty, must be born again through the Holy Spirit. The wind blows where it wishes, and you, fellow believers, hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone, fellow believers, children of God Almighty, who is born of the Spirit, through the Holy Spirit. Romans 8, verses 29 and 30. For whom he, God Almighty, foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed in the spiritual body to the image of his Son, Jesus Christ, that he, Jesus, might be the firstborn in the spiritual body among many brethren, fellow believers, children of God Almighty. Moreover, whom he, God Almighty, predestined, these fellow believers he also called to be children of God Almighty. Whom he, God Almighty, called, these fellow believers he also justified. And whom he, God Almighty, justified, these fellow believers he also glorified in our spiritual bodies at the being caught up together. 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 through 6a. For I delivered to you, fellow believers, children of God Almighty, first of all, that which I also received to the Holy Spirit, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, the Holy Bible, and specifically the Gospel of Jesus Christ, and that He, Jesus, was buried, and that He, Jesus, rose alive again the third day according to the Scriptures, the Holy Bible, and specifically the Gospel of Jesus Christ, and that He, Jesus, was seen alive by Cephas, also known as Peter, then by the twelve Jesus' disciples. After that, he, Jesus, was seen alive by over five hundred brethren, fellow believers at once, i.e. Jesus' crucifixion, resurrection, and subsequent ascension, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Romans 10, verses 8 through 10. But what does it say, the Holy Bible, and specifically the gospel of Jesus Christ? The word is near you, yet to be believers, in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ, which we, fellow believers, children of God Almighty, preach to the Holy Spirit. That if you, yet to be believers, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God, God Almighty, has raised him, Jesus Christ, alive from the dead, i.e. Jesus' crucifixion, resurrection, and subsequent ascension, the gospel of Jesus Christ, you, fellow believers, children of God Almighty, will be saved from the lake of fire, the second death, everlasting condemnation. For with the heart one believes under righteousness, and with the mouth confession of this faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ is made unto salvation, everlasting life in God Almighty's immediate presence, with Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, God Almighty's holy angels, and all the rest of the children of God Almighty, for eternity, forever. Ephesians 2, verses 8-10 through 10. For by grace, God Almighty's amazing saving grace, you, fellow believers, children of God Almighty, have been saved from the lake of fire to second death, everlasting condemnation, through faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, God Almighty's free gift of salvation, not of mankind's works, lest anyone should boast. For we, fellow believers, children of God Almighty, are His, God Almighty's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works. God Almighty's good works performed through us which God, God Almighty, prepared beforehand, that we, fellow believers, should walk in them. Ephesians 4, verses 4 through 6. There is one body, the body of Christ, and one Spirit, the Holy Spirit, just as you, fellow believers, were called to be children of God Almighty, in one hope of everlasting life of your calling, one Lord Jesus Christ, one faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ, one baptism with the Holy Spirit, one God and Father of all, God Almighty, who is above all and through all and in you all, fellow believers, children of God Almighty. Ephesians 6, verse 12. For we, fellow believers, children of God Almighty, do not wrestle spiritually battle against flesh and blood, i.e. mankind, but we spiritually battle against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts, spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places, i.e. against Satan, the fallen angels, and demons. Ephesians 6, verses 10, 11, and 13 through 18. Finally, my brethren, fellow believers, children of God Almighty, be strong in the Lord God Almighty and in the power of His, God Almighty's might. Put on the whole armor of God, God Almighty, that you, fellow believers, may be able to stand firm in the faith of the gospel of Jesus Christ against the wiles and deceptions of the devil, Satan. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, God Almighty, that you, fellow believers, may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm in the faith of the gospel of Jesus Christ. 
Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ, with which you, fellow believers, children of God Almighty, will be able to quench all the fiery darts, spiritual attacks of the wicked one, Satan, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, which is the Word of God, the Holy Bible, and specifically the gospel of Jesus Christ. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, being watchful, spiritually alert to this end, with all perseverance and supplication, i.e. prayers for all the saints, fellow believers, children of God Almighty. 2 Corinthians 5, verses 20 and 21. Now then, we, fellow believers, children of God Almighty, are ambassadors for Christ, as though God, God Almighty, were pleading through us. We implore you, yet to be believers on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God, God Almighty. For he, God Almighty, made him, Jesus Christ, who knew no sin, to be sin for us, i.e. Jesus' crucifixion, resurrection, and subsequent ascension, the gospel of Jesus Christ, that we, fellow believers, might become the righteousness of God, children of God Almighty, in him, Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians 10, verses 3-5 through 5. For though we, fellow believers, children of God Almighty, walk in the flesh, the natural body, we do not spiritually war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our spiritual warfare are not carnal, i.e. physical, but mighty in God, the whole armor of God Almighty, for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, God Almighty, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. 2 Timothy 2, verses 3 and 4. You, fellow believers, children of God Almighty, therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one engaged in spiritual warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life in the natural body, that he may please him, fellow believers, who enlisted him as a soldier of Jesus Christ. 2 Timothy 2, verses 24-26 through 26. And the servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, i.e. fellow believers, children of God Almighty, must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach through the Holy Spirit, the Holy Bible, and specifically the Gospel of Jesus Christ patient and humility, correcting those false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers who are in opposition to the truth. If God, God Almighty, perhaps will grant them repentance, salvation through the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, so that they, yet to be believers, may know the truth, the Holy Bible, and specifically the Gospel of Jesus Christ, and that they, fellow believers, may come to their senses and escape the snare of the devil, Satan, having been taken captive by him in the bondage of sin, to do his will, Satan's will. Fellow believers, children of God Almighty, we are given the task of sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ with everyone, and in so doing we are literally hampered by the spiritual forces of darkness, which we are not at liberty to see, at least for now. I am referring to Satan, the fallen angels, and demons, and they will do anything to keep us from leading people to Jesus Christ. Therefore we must put on the whole armor of God Almighty and stand firm in the faith of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Remember, Jesus Christ abides within us through the Holy Spirit. Therefore, Jesus Christ walks with us. The Holy Spirit teaches us. And most importantly, God Almighty watches over us, always. Finally, wherever you are, wherever you go, whatever you do, be it in the natural, physical world or in cyber world, may our Lord Jesus Christ find you going about the Father's business, which is sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ as a good and faithful servant. Amen.